Well, this just in. Just in from where? Portland, Oregon. Uh, why? Because it's the Rose City and there are plenty of roses here. And what's the message? Why am I looking at these beautiful roses? Why not, actually? Because the message is show up and show off. In this DIY do-it-yourself age where you are the business, we call it you biz, you have to not only produce, but you have to present yourself and promote yourself. And that's what these roses do. Roses are amazingly successful because they show up, they show off. Yes, they produce, yes, they present and yes they perform and yes they promote hence the success so that is the message for the day think roses now in order for you to be like a rose and to be amazing to present yourself the way roses present themselves to the world you have to believe in yourself you have to have confidence in yourself and that means to know within yourself that you are a rose, you are worthy, you do have something to present and gift to the world like the roses. And I call this little exercise the brags. It's all about bragging to yourself. You can't show up for other people if you can't convince yourself and know yourself that you've got it, you are it. And so it's about bragging to yourself, not bragging to others. We don't like braggers, braggadocio, boasters, so full of themselves. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, don't do that. But to believe in yourself, because we suffer from delusions of smallness and are afraid of our greatness, that it really is about being able to at least brag about yourself. And so we're gonna do that little exercise here. It's a great one. So BRAG is an acronym, B-R-A-G, for your blessings, your resourcefulness, your abundance, and your gift to the world, B-R-A-G, just the way these roses are. Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> they only brag to themselves, they brag to the world, so. Let's go with the B, with the blessings. So first of all, be able to know the blessings of life that you've been blessed with, like this little kid here. Roses have been blessed with, here in Portland, with an incredible soil, incredible precipitation, the right exact temperature, the right exact place. They are blessed with the right environment. And so bragging to myself, Wow, I know that I was totally blessed with a great family, my parents who loved me, supported me regardless of what I did, um, blessed with a great education that they supported. I was so blessed and blessed with a, a body, a brain, a heart of emotions and all the good stuff and lots of energy and great longevity DNA. I am truly, truly blessed. So, first of all, guys and girls, what are you blessed with? Have some gratitude because we are so blessed. And then let's go on to our resourcefulness. How resourceful are you? I will tell you this about roses. They are, in, they are so beautiful and so tender and so sweet, and yet they are ferocious, resourcefully ferocious in their ability to really protect themselves. They got those pricklers. Uh, they are super disease resistant. Wow, talk about resourceful. And myself, how am I resourceful? I think I'm incredibly resourceful because I have the right mindset. I'm totally have an open mind, a creative mind, an intuitive mind, and incredibly optimistic, and an, I'm an optimizer. So when anything happens in life, thorns, things I don't like, so what? It's all opportunity. It's opportunity, it's opportunity for something good to be able to convert those setbacks into successes. You know, all those stagnations into creations 
and on and on and on. So my resourcefulness is this open, optimistic, and creative mindset. I'm endlessly creative as we all are. We're all born from the creative life force to be creative. So those are two tremendous resources that I have within me. And that, in fact, we all actually have that because it's a mental thing and we can change that. So then we go on to abundance. Now look how abundant this place is. I mean, I could go on and on and walk all over this place. Abundance of roses, but abundance of roses because there's so many species, so many different types and kinds, over a hundred species. And some of them are, most of them are wild, but they're also very cultivable, if that's a word. So, I mean, there's no short of abundance, abundance of seeds, abundance of way. By the way, the resourcefulness, the way they can reproduce themselves is really quite amazing. I mean, talk about tricky and cool. Check out roses, if you will. So when I go to my abundance, I'm seeing myself that I have enough money, enough wealth to have an apartment not big. I don't care about that. I don't value stuff and largeness in a lot of ways. I value when it comes to material things enough. So I have definitely an abundant life and enough wealth to support what I really, really love in life, which is a city environment. And I also love the beach. So I live at, in the city at the beach. I have everything I want. It's a really super abundant life, full of creative people, lots of people, lots of people, lots of friends in the studies of longevity have all said the very same thing. The people who live the longest are the people who have the most friends. So it's not always just about fitness and diet and all that good stuff, which is necessary, but it's really it's about having companionship, people, humans in your life. And I'm so blessed and abundant with that. And so are these roses. I mean, these roses are not hanging out here alone. No, they, these are communities, these are cities, these are tribes, species of roses and lots of them. And then let's go on to gifts. What is the gift of the rose to the world? The magic the rose has. Oh my gosh, I mean, it's, it's, ha, ha, it's huge. I mean, the gift of, of the rose is, number one, it's beauty. It's beauty and how it's used in decoration and ceremony and gifts to other people and the symbolism of so rich as well. We just love it and the fragrance of it, the fragrances that come out of it, the perfumes and the food, the rose hips and the drinks that come out of roses and the medicine that comes out of rose hips. I mean, roses are not just pretty. They are resilient. They are ferocious. They have a lot to brag about incredibly resourceful, incredibly abundant, and gifted to the world, to the max here. So ask yourself, brag to yourself, so what are my gifts? What do I give to the world? What's my magic? What do I have to give and gift to the world, which is what we're meant to be doing? And when I talk about myself, it's about my works. I mean, I have published a lot of good work, and I've done uh, a lot of trainings and talks. I'm an educator, but an empowerment educator and a, and a, and a psych success psychologist and a human potential motivator and a person who really, really helps people out in life with my consultations, my one-on-ones, my talks, my trainings. Oh, wow, look how beautiful that one is. So I truly am blessed. I truly am resourceful. I truly am abundant and I've taken all of that into the world as my gift to the world. So here I am, the time for everybody is we are a rose, be the rose that you are. And once you can say that to yourself, you believe in yourself and you got to believe. You have confidence in yourself and you got to have confidence. And once you have that, then you can easily present yourself to the world and be very very, very 
successful. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes.